that is the question at hand here. Team Vitality with the scrappy style, with the looser play, it's momentum based. If they get off to a good start, if they're able to win a force buy, if they're able to convert this pistol, if they get that first gun round on the board, they can start to steamroll Ents and their economy. So let's get this one underway as we kick off with the pistol round. Bit of a slower approach here. No rushes on the T-Pistol and Nuke. We've been getting very used to that in recent times. Yeah, normally focused towards the ramp. Ooh, okay, so this is the Heaven Smoke. We saw Big Clan throwing this one quite often. You've got to make sure you shut up the windows. We're going to use that one at home. A few players have made that mistake, but it is an upper commitment here. Zai Wu and Co. will have full control of the upper bomb site. No CTs at home, so this is the retake setup here. Focusing towards the lobby. Ariel will be joined by X7. And this is five on five for now. Kit not available. So they have to get their skates on here. RPK will get first contact. Flash is good. Zai was so blind. How is he not dead? He tucks in and it works out wonderfully. Apex keeps him safe. That nade does a ton of damage, but unfortunately it won't translate to anything substantial. Bomb's about half gone now as Ariel and X7 advance and they do start to whittle away at the defense of this bomb. It's all onto shocks. He's had a quiet start and now silenced They've once more. X7 and Ariel, they pull home the retake in the pistol. We need to make this very clear for everybody at home. A big part of why Vitality would have picked him into this map is the losing streak right now that we can see Ents on. Look, with this roster, X7 in play, they have lost a bunch of games in a row here. 16-14 lost to Dignitas, a 16-8 lost to Complexity, a 16-5 lost to Heretics. That is all just in the road to Rio. Then after that, you've got results from the Pro League, DreamHack Open in Anaheim, Ice Challenge earlier in the year, and Katowice. They've had a real bad streak on Nuke in recent times. So this punish pick, let's see if it shapes up that way. Gonna be seeing the majority take their deagles just out to yard. They're gonna hope that any one of those CTs is just gonna be holding warehouse vulnerable to a quick one deag. But look how much liberties they're taking. They know the CTs are not giving them that fight. So they'll take a lot of space. We call this turtling up in the business, Alex. You know, you get in the shell of nuke because the bomb sites are, well, inside the walls. You can just turtle on up, play lower, play these passive positions and will hopefully convert the frags. Yeah, you would hope so. Zai has got another chance onto Sunny. That nade does look promising, but his teammates are disappearing and his Glock's not going to get him too far. That's the end of him. Ariel surviving. Nice to not lose out on that M4 and armor considering 99 damage done to him. So the guns come out here. No frags found for Vitality in the previous means that Ents will have all the bells and whistles required. Here's the replay of Ariel just showing us that it's absolutely fine outside. Even took 99 damage there. No problem. So round three, you can see a distinct lack of utility for shocks. He's got, he, he did this on Mirage as well. He had $800 and just buys one grenade. Maybe he's going in first and feels like his role doesn't need a massive amount of utility. Just throws the close smoke towards our side. That won't do a, a bunch for them. Ooh. Ariel looking to send it to defenses here and unfortunately it will be taken down. That's not going to stop them. Seven trying to hold them at bay. Nade could do a lot of damage here. Does dribble into the toes of Masuta and Zaiwu. Softened up for the M4s of his squad. And he's doing a good job of taking some space, keeping them honest. As soon as that smoke fades, though, he could need backup. This is going to be a single pop flash and four people flooding in. Good flash. Drops off. He's surviving. That's all. That's the, you can you, you just more than you can ask from X7 in that situation. Great job from he's him. He's contained him. Oh, I was about to say, was he about to swing again there? Fancy there, but the incendiary has brought him enough time to reposition. He's choosing the actual ramp itself to reside, and we'll see if this works out for him. Multiple players. He'll do well to even get one kill. Flashbang will land right at his front door here, and he doesn't get anything. Five versus three. Sergo, the MP9, they're trying to defend here. He needs more than one, and there's the second chance. It was on to Zaiwu, but unfortunately for him, it does not connect. A 3v2 and a safe plan for RPK. Alu could tap away at the head of Zaiwu here, and he does eventually convert that kill. Perhaps there's something to be said for Ence's retake here. Yeah, it doesn't look like a foregone conclusion, but very low HP on Sergei and Alu. Even lower now, but it's a one versus one. It's the rifle to try and pick it. Why is RPK looking at double doors? He's got an aid. This should be the end. He's lining up for the left-hand side, but he swings out before he has his rifle, and Enz will take it. I can't believe it. That must have been a miscom there, or, I don't know what or, or some poor information, because Alu's, he was well known. He was getting frags from there. They must have known he was coming from ramp there. So a oh. little bit of a, a little bit of a wobble, early stages, right? Only 3-0 here. We can, we can swap. 
wipe that one to one side. That's Certainly. not a, a pivot round. That's not going to change the tide of the game. But it's a round that they <sighs> definitely should have won. But why is he looking so confused there? Like, it's a one versus one. There should be a clean call. He's lower ramp. That's it, right? That, that should do all the only communication Lower required. ramp, you've got a nade. That's it. And he's looking at the double doors. He looks so discombobulated at that stage as well. They luckily get the bomb down, though. And with four stage loss bonus, they do have a buy here. But you can see that lack of utility. No flashbangs ready to speak of. A single Molotov. Outside smoke support. And we'll see if this is going to be enough now with just the AK-47s. They can win this round. They're back on track. They'll shut down the money of Ents as well, considering it came down to the one versus one before. But it has to be a victory, and it's going to be a difficult one with a smoke oh, down as no. well. Perfectly timed from Alu. Misuta thought about pushing through, but it would be a guaranteed death. Yeah, I mean, when you see that smoke, it's, it is a big, fat win. You drop that as they've got down secret, you've just bought so much time. And it's all down to the timing itself. How do you throw that a second later? Misuta definitely goes through it, but it's just one of those moments you have to decide fight or flight. And he chooses the latter at this particular moment. Alu using the pixel gap now just to peek out when one's there. We'll drop the incendiary. You can see that delays them for another seven seconds. Just frustrating at this point. They've been smoked out, trying to make some progress here. The bomb is stuck with three players at secret. Nice little sequence there, though. That's perfect. They're going to play behind that Molotov. The nade, unfortunately, not doing as much damage as I'm sure he would have hoped. But they've been able to dissuade them from going lower. And now with the time as it is, X7's backed them up. They've actually lost track of them. And this is Sonny's chance. Big chance, trigger discipline for a second and he gets Zaiwu. That's a double kill from Sunny. That's more than he bargained for. Apex, however, quick to equalize and now into the top site. Ariel's pushed up on Hut. He is the only man on that top site after all of that presence. Secret, and now he's got to find a multi-kill and he has two of them line up. And a one versus two has been dealt to Apex. Big seven giving him the free fight. Alu, oh, perfect timing. Just as Apex starts to wander, he turns his back and Alu strikes. The plant again, though. So this is great for Vitality in terms of stimulating that economy. The 3,400 as the loss bonus with the 800 on top is going to allow them to keep buying. Ants are getting whittled on down, only having one individual surviving just there. It's not going to hurt just yet, but that's two rounds in a row where it's come down to 1v1 clutches. Yeah. And that's going to start adding up for Ents. They still are on packing peanuts if they lose. <laughs> but still, there's enough money for Vitality to buy in this. They really wanted it. They bought less in the previous round. They're going to tap out, though, and call for the partial buy. So three smokes, two flashes, and HE. I'd assume they're nading out the door. And uh, time will tell. Apex looking to send it to high heaven here. He'll run through the heart, but they're greeted by bullets and death. But they pull a couple of back here. It's going to be quite a convincing oh situation. How has Ariel even gone down? Uh-oh. If Ali misses this shot, he could just get caught out. Finds Masuta, takes his time with it, doesn't rush it, and deep breath. Fill their lungs with air after that close one there. Yeah, the reason that felt so worrying was because they just did all that hard work to convert two gun rounds back to back, and then they almost just lose it to pistols with a rush out the hut. That wasn't even anything special. That was just trying to beat a Molotov. And uh, the money reflects that situation as well. Dire Straits, friends, even with a 5-0 star, they will be pretty much fully invested here. Sergei, what grenades will he have? The bare minimum. Auto shotgun for X7, so feeling the burn a little bit more now. Alu does have the orb, and he's only died once so far. Nading out the door, flashbang towards main, and the Molotov that's as well. For the, that's the one that catches the uh, Rafters player through yeah, the wall. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm interested to know if he does get caught. No one's there, though, and Apex does catch Ariel. I believe that was actually contesting early on the top site. So you can see his kit lying on RPK's POV. So yeah, just threw the smoke on the squeaky. That's one body dropped. A shotgun for X7. Good grief. That's going to be a challenge. Alu, feeling challenged outside. He does manage to take down shocks and reposition. Has to be careful, though. Oh, not anymore. They've dropped back, so... Thought he was going to be greeted with a couple more, but as soon as they see that AWP, I think they think better of it. And they're retooling back towards lobby. They have enough nades to, you know, do like a, a pop-out squeaky and try and get down the vent with a flash behind it. They could do the heaven smoke. We've already seen them pull that one off. But in terms of utility to make something happen within this mid-round, they don't, they don't have a huge amount to be creative with. <laughs> three smokes and three flashes. First smoke deployed for a contact play towards Hart, but X7, oh, he's chomping at the bit to get stuck in there. That shotgun, it looks great in that spot. It really does. Out towards yeah, Squeaky down and down. Okay. That's a good call. That works out wonderfully. They leave RPK up there. That's Sergei's <laughs> duel and great work from RPK. And already Sunny's gone down the lower side. This is looking very positive, but this is a chance for X7 to get a kill and an AK-47. Hang on. Maybe. That's two on two. 
RPK, if he goes down here, there's only 16 points of health from Masuta. This is the frag right now. Except sees him and doesn't get the kill. Two versus one damage inflicted. Alu may be a bit too far away for this one, but has got the incender in a couple of flashes. He'll have to deal with the player towards window room to kick things off. Starts to creep his way forward here, and he doesn't look to be checking the windows, making a lot of noise as well. Masuta will get his position up, and now he knows at least where one is. Incendiary towards Decon. Double switch. Oh! Oh, could have happened there. That was a misplay from Vitality. Why are they lining up? I couldn't tell you, but dancing with the devil there. Masuta had like 12 HP. Yep. My God, that could have gone awry. Vitality, they needed that. They will get off the starting mark here on the T side. And we said it, they were keeping them honest. Clutches, 1v1s, and this is the repercussions of that. It's a good force, though, because they only have 1,400 as the loss bonus in this round. It's 1,900 in the following, which meant they would have had to have taken either two partial right. buys or gone all in. And the fact that Alu can get out the big green yet again, that's more than enough for them to be looking potent here. Okay, so outside smokes. If that nade goes now, it will catch one of them, but they do get across. And Alu, he'll be calling that a potential gap. Masuta's already dealt nicely with this lobby pressure. There's only one caught, clawed back, and Sunny has already gone down. X7 continues to push, though, and this aggression has worked out. That's the bomb that's got 7 HP retreating to outside. Alu's still out as well. If he gets this in transition, Alu can drop the bomb in yard. Hello. What's he done that? That's well, okay. The but ladder, they need to be worried about ladder base right now. This Oof. is very good from Vitality. Yeah, but Alu is watching it, and he's tucked in behind the box. This is absolutely oh, perfect. So aware. And now the CTs, they've got the bomb and an advantage. This was all Vitality. They got the first two kills, if I'm not mistaken. But they've lost Zywu. They have absolutely no idea on where the map he is. This could be the right play. If he gets up and on silo, they might not be expecting this. Well, with one minute remaining, time will tell. They've got the bomb under their control, and they've recovered this situation for now. Fortunately for Zywu, he's still got 45 seconds here. A smoke, two flashes, the Molotov. But he has no idea where the CTs could be. He's trying to buy as much time as possible here. He's going to jump up towards Silo. Chad said this could be a good port of call. Oh, the toes. He's got yeah, the toes. Get seven here, but yeah. oh, well, you know, I think his a model, his view model might have blocked the view there. Yeah, I think you're right on something now. That's gonna I've uh, actually got it set up on my number three. I can change between left and right-handed models for that you reason. You bother? You yeah, do? I Damn. Do. That's an extra button honestly, for me. it's called me out a couple of times. I'm just like, you know what? Just change the left-hand side. When you know right. it's a possibility, just switch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got that as well on, on my mouse. And yeah. another key one that I think people who want to play Team Counter-Strike, especially if using a Discord or a TeamSpeak or one of those, have a mute button, guys, because your teammates might be talking a whole lot of trash when you need That's to listen to the footsteps. Yeah. So get a, get a mute button for your TeamSpeak. Yeah, I, I think Chad gave me that tip recently when I found myself constantly going, shush now, be quiet now, stop, cut noise, Cut noise, and it's like you don't—you shouldn't have to be asking yeah. for that. You should just have a button you can press. Yeah, fair enough. That's a good call. I've never considered that. And uh, this is an investment from Vitality, not a full buy. As you can see, it's only shocks is down at zero. The rest of them around either two thousand or one thousand dollars. Masuto with just a deagle, no armor, with three K. So uh, he'll be dropping the orb going forward. That looks of things. But uh, in terms of loss bonus, thirty-four hundred dollars next round. So they're okay in that department. Fourteen and two for Alu. Yeah, he's had a. Hell of a game here. I told you coming to this series. Sure, M's have not looked amazing, but the last 30 days, Alu has been on a tear. Oh, did he see the barrel? He did. Apex is going to get a new slice of life. He's actually going see for it, the man. dunk. It could be finished off by Ariel as well. That's an ambitious duel, but Sunny wins it all the same. Shocks can't believe it. Outranged by the MP9, X7 holding his ground and looking for a deagle headshot. He did clip him through the metal. He finishes it off as well. Oh, he got a little bit close there, but all starts to calm down now. 45 seconds, Zywu with the AWP, and he might as well go for him. You've got the MP9. He don't Timing. necessarily want that weapon. He's timed him well, and he'll get the kill. I'm not sure if he's going for the knife there. He definitely could have closed it out a bit sooner. Probably wanted to get inside his head a bit more. Yeah. And we can see Zywu dropping off significantly. He's known to some apps like Vertigo. He doesn't usually turn up. Early days here, but two and eight for the world's best player. And it'd be good news for Ents, the fact he's not firing on all cylinders. Who do you think is the actual world's best player? No uh, offense to Zywa, I think he's a very, very good player, but- For me, if I had to pick it based on tournament victories and actually contributing to success of the okay. team, Device for me is up there. What I about like mechanically? It, mechanically simple, for yeah. sure. I still feel like I, every time I watch him, I'm flabbergasted what he does. I don't get that with Device, but in terms of how he approaches Counter-Strike, yeah. I love it. I think he's a very intelligent player and does enough to win the game. And I, I actually echo that exact sentiment right okay. there. I, I think that Device is unfortunately probably never going to pick up the best player in the world title from HLTV.org, but he'll probably win many more trophies than those other names. Yeah, so. and that's what it's all about yeah. at the end of the day, right? The legacy is left by the team, not the player. So uh, 
We'll see how that develops. But I agree, in terms of individual skills, Zyro is right up there. And uh, he was a very, he was, it was his rookie year in 2019. Absolutely. I mean, you honestly don't have to look further. And I wouldn't say this unless they were as ridiculous as they are. But look at his stats in FPL. Yeah, it's sure. actually absurd the amount of games he's played in comparison to his win percentage. It's just, in terms of Counter Strike, the guy is, is, is in an, an, another level. And that's how he kind of cut his teeth. Now he's doing it in a very different environment. And a five versus five for round nine. We start with some aggression from the CTs. They've taken control of the hut position and completely denying tr trophy control. That's an interesting lineup for Apex. He's got one for the smoke wall here. I like this approach from Entz, though. They're able to collapse on lobby relatively quickly here. So as soon as these smokes fall yard, let's see if the CTs want to push forward and take out the lobby defenders or if they want to drop on back. But Ooh, two of them. So when you lose one piece of the puzzle, you take another back, and Lobby is a very powerful piece. Yeah, uh, that, the fact I'm seeing someone on the X-ray up, up on this <gasps> roof. You can hear him. He can. He dropped oh, out past we him. We didn't see him. His teammate will, though. Masuta just fell from the heavens. I want to see that one again. My god, is that a weird exchange. <laughs> he jumps down through the portal and yeah. disappears into another universe, it seems. Well, four versus one and shocks. He'll be left with an almost impossible task here. He's got to recover the bomb, find multiple frags. He might not even check beneath him. Finds the first player, that's Sunny. And he's going to be finished off by Sergei there. This is looking very good for Ents here, boys. I am excited for this uh, breath of fresh air we're seeing from them. Jam, he was the solution, apparently. Renaissance. Uh, yeah, absolutely, that's true. This... And this is all down to, if you're just joining us, I guess we'll reiterate it one final time that Sonny has had an interview with us beforehand, and Jumpy is practicing with the team. X7 is just filling in for Road to Rio, but he said the team in general is feeling much better. X7 is playing out of his mind. Seems like pressure's been relieved there, and the team just looks great in general. They've managed to win Mirage convincingly, and now they have an 8-1 lead on Vitality's pick. Well, it's very important to note as well, with Ents and their storied run at the Katowice Major of last year, they went from minnows to big fish, so all that pressure change as well, but right now these Deagles outside, they're the ones feeling the pressure. Alu has his AWP trained, ready, and rare. Yeah. Yeah, no armor on two players as well. Ooh. Won't be a matter of the armor here, though. Alu will pick them off one by one, but they can find a kill here towards the AK-47, but still, it's all shut down, as you'd expect. Five survive here for Ents. They are an absolute tear right now. They've only lost one round so far. That was number six. Came down to the one versus one, and money starting to stabilize once again for Vitality. They're going to need four or five rounds here, and that's still a stretch. Check this out, boys. This was the uh, the portal move. I've slowed it down to 50% speed, so you're going to see Sunny start to go up this ladder, and watch Ooh. this. Here it comes. Nice and drops. slow for everybody. Ooh, <laughs> dead. They didn't see each other at all. And that was it. So funny. Well, they'll have no idea, but uh, we all saw it. Three AK-47s on the CT side and a full buy for Vitality as well. Zywoo with the AWP. Things getting desperate out there. The T side AWP, not a high impact weapon. He won't be having huge potency with this one, but there's only one player that's going to make it a secret oh. for now. That segregates them. They are stuck there, but luckily the smoke will guise their approach. And it's a faster play down towards lower. Now the grenade is just oh. perfect. Lance Isn't that three inspired? Of You've yeah, done a molly cool. to stop to basically be respected behind the smoke. You nade where they'll be waiting. Very nice use of utility. Ents' his nukes looking buttoned up. Yeah, this, Polished. Is, this is hard though. They have to defend the lower site with only one individual so far rotated down. X7 is going to have a lot to deal with here, boys. One, two, he's counting. Two up window. He hears the scope and he knows there's one close. So he's got three in his picture, in his mind. Apex gets caught out and now Zywoo, where's the comms? His back was turned, Masuta, down he, to half. He knew there was a half second window there before they could even communicate what was happening. He wasn't sure where he died from. A great swing Bang. from X7. The solo player down towards lower. It could be enough with the plants coming through, but Sonny, he might be able to deny oh. it. it. Oh, he wins the round regardless. It gets planted in RPK. He's so far removed from this scenario. He won't stand a chance oh. and it's down to X7 there. Two huge frags, AK-47s across the board now as they post double digits. Ents are looking rock solid out there. They're back, baby. Get the Finnish flags out. Get in the streets after quarantine's over and run around <laughs> like a bunch of bloody hooligans because this is great stuff. He just pushes the issue. I love the way X7 played that. It was beautiful. By the door, I mean, like, if they were to open that, <laughs> it, <laughs> ends, it ends horribly. Yeah, the doors swing open in his face yeah. as well. That's when it can get a little bit dicey, but that's fantastic because we know a lot of teams, and I push it on the broadcast as well, love to take control yep. of window room Important first. Part so of knowing that, it's a great little reaction off the back of the protocols that teams like to go for here. Looks like uh, some nades towards top site here. Oh, now that's an interesting twist. Vitality have done the smoke that stops the AWPA from getting any info. 
and then it doesn't smoke. So I think we call like these ones. going to be too much of an issue. Masuta's has just gone straight through it into the AWP and the M4 spray. In fact, X7 is the one that finishes it off. Closing the gap is Zaiwu. Two and 11. It's time for him to wake up. And here's number three. Oof. That was a chance for another kill down the CT side. But RPK, that's a sitter. He walks into ramp. What was he expecting to happen there? Four on two, Zaiwu and Shocks again with barely any utility. One smoke and a flash. Four on two. Running out of time and space at this point. 10 1 down, 4 on 2 in round number 12. And the bomb is down towards outside. Sergey confirms it. And he's looking for more and more kills here. Shocks, he's got no yeah. chance. Let's play Shark in the Water right now. Vitality's map pick, by the way. Yep. T side nuke is where it starts. And that's the risk you, you have to bear when picking nuke is that you'll start on the attack. You have to have your homework done. That was his opportunity there. Zywoo, if he gets that kill, the three and one, maybe it's possible. But at this stage, the bomb, bear in mind, is by T-Spawn. It's not outside by T-Red or anything. He'll have to get two kills, get the bomb, somehow still plant, and then win the rounds. Like, it's just not going to happen. He knows it. I know it. And I think Ends know it as well. And they'll confirm it. 11 to 1. Four players survived. They've got so much money, Chad. Everyone's in five digits by Ariel, who's shy by two. Yeah, but Henry, dollars. if I say 11 4, what do you say? I say that's famously <laughs> a difficult scoreline to uh, convert into a victory, but uh, we haven't got that yet. We've only got one round. Yeah, I know, but this is where I get a little bit worried, right? Because if the if the foot comes off the gas just a little bit from Ents. Why has X7 got a biz on? Well, the, like taking his be foot it. off that the be gas like, just be the a moment. little or bit. You wanted to see more of the bison. I did, and it bison. could be the perfect round. I don't know partial by. Maybe it's just a genius. I, I've been using this weapon a lot. It's actually sick now. He's That's taken 64 bullets into the lobby, and well, they don't do anything. In fact, Masuta's going to take his <laughs> first go. double we're kill, off. and we're off to the races, <laughs> folks. So 11-4. 11 4, anyway. 11 -4 uh, half. It was 11-4 at the half, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, well, oh, now and Vitality have won the pistol, it's and 11 -11. they do convert. They lose the next gun round. My God, we're off to 11-11. Sonny, he does go down, and jokes aside, it is Ali with a 1v3. He could catch Apex here, but I don't think he's expecting it. And so adjustment will have to be made. Warning shots. Now all three of them know exactly where he is. He's trying to go through the smoke. Looks like he realizes and thinks better of it. Go for it, mate. May, what, may give as well. it a go. At this point, give it a crack, really. Henry Watch was him just... wallbang Masuda straight through that CT van. A quick scope. I'm feeling it. No, we're looking for the info. How much ground has Alu covered? They don't have the answer. His jump won't give him either. But Apex is going to do it. Nice connect. And an AK upgrade. So lovely work. Vitality do manage to make it work with just pistols. Well, that's just what the doctor ordered. Um, as we mentioned, 11-4 is guaranteed at this stage. But we're hoping it's a fun route there. Well, uh, the, the, uh, people with Henry, they got a little bit of an insight on our recorded uh, cast. Because obviously this game is already done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But seriously, there is a real real good chance now that, that Zywa has the orb that this could turn around. T-side orping nuke, though. It doesn't blow me away. Where, where does he go? Is he going to go outside and hope that Alu gives him the fight? Looks like that is going to be his mission for now. Yeah, so it's the aim map smokes again, right? This allows him to have more of a, of a linear plane to be orping through as opposed to having to worry about top ladder, the windows, players behind CT boxes. He's able to just scope one up here and search for a jewel, and they even isolate Sunny, so this is looking great. Yeah. yeah, they've got a bit of spring to their step now. You can see it reflected on their play. Looking for that 11 4 scoreline, they've got a 5 on 4 to kick things off here. The Alu. And what's more secret step? Sergei pushing towards Hut. Shox is watching this like a hawk. They've put the brakes on now. Vitality are waiting for reaction. They've certainly got it. Ariel surely taking down by RPK. Ooh. Apparently not. No wow. damage really inflicted either. It looked like his crosshair was bang on as yeah. well. I think his just touch on the movement caught him off. They have got full control of heaven. And Ariel, okay, interesting. He's going to fall out. He gets spotted from the rafters. And so now, ooh, don't pull the trigger there. And Sergei, unfortunately, didn't quite make the jump. Costs him his health. He's down to 58 and perhaps even the sound cue. So this does look very promising for Vitality. Yeah, for Sergei, it'd be nice out of running there. And it looks like the round is over. Round 15 coming up shortly. There'll be plenty of money for the likes of Ents. Really winning this one, but seeing if they can upgrade to AK 47s as the save, that would be something here. As Alu deploys a flashbang now, looking to see if there's anything that could be done, if anyone will give him an opportunity. Same incendiary down, and Sergei's still on for this one. They boosted on the site. And he does actually get the drop off. He won't be able to get into the site, but they do manage to keep the T's responsible. He'll end two 
players remaining. So you can see the kill distribution is rather bleak for Vitality, but this 15th round, this final one, the fourth on the board, would certainly set them up for a, uh, a competitive second half. Yeah, that's for sure. So their T-side hasn't been fantastic here, but if they close it at 11-4 as predicted, uh, not only will I eat my hat, it will look quite good for Vitality as well. As we'll see now, the AWP for Zywu, the Tech Nines are out, the Deagles as well, a full buy for Vitality to close out his half. Same story for Enzo, though. Single orb set up once more, but Allo's starting to drop off now. Can't find that 20 bomb. And see, okay. Funneling towards the ramp room. Good grenade, that'll do a lot of damage. Great grenade. Can ask for more, but he still delivers more. Masuta goes down, and X7 descends to the ramp healthy. That's perfect stuff from X7. He's dropped a, a nuke of a grenade down there. He's got the opening kill, dropped down towards lower. He's still got 100 health and control of the ramp itself. Shock's going for a solo adventure on Red Container. He's met by the orb. Looking good for 12 here. Zaiwu hoping that the CTs look to retake ramp room, but actually going to be more than content. Oh. Ooh chance won't work out squandered by apex bomb loose and quickly traded that is all onto zywu with four left as well the bomb is loose on the side this looks just like a matter of time you will have a duel onto sunny good jiggle for the info but yeah vitality as ends have managed to accrue 12 of the needed 16 in order to close this out in two on nuke and even better than that it's going to be vitality's turn on the ct side so they have certainly got the best side to forge a comeback they're going to be looking to get shocks online though in order to overcome because ends they haven't got a missing link just yet yeah if ends get this pistol i, I would say call it done they'll, they'll be able to close this one out if it goes in favor of health. Vitality, however, I feel like 30 rounds is certainly on the docky here, but they've got five sets of Kevlar on the CT side. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. I do like the stickers, though. Nice creative stuff. And we are going to have HE grenade available for Squeaky Door. Smoke towards main as well. A very important pistol here. And Shock's looking to challenge. Oh. And it will get a couple of kills oh. here. No problem. Lovely double kill from Shocks. And he does come online. But Soda ends into top site with now the man advantage. Misuta from heaven. He missed up the ladder. It cost him some health. I like this from Enz. Instead of panicking and thinking you have to go towards up, and they've got oh, 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 oh. Yes, he gets the frag. His rotate was so fast. And now they have to descend. They have to find him. He was ramp room. That's the information they're working well, with. Why did he blow in the open? I get it. But at the same time, that, I always get anxious at that ramp position. With Suta, though, he's got a chance here. One minute 10. Certainly those good friends here. They're actually going to push towards the ramp. The window's not shut out, though. Well, that takes care of that. Just shoot it straight out. I guess he'll be aware of them coming for the bomb regardless, and he knows he's a bit more active here. Spotted and confirmed towards ramp still. Alu will have him pinned down from the silo itself. And this is a little bit troublesome. They're not really working together right now. Oh. And that's going to be a great kill from Asuta, and he can go towards the window. Wow, spectacular aim on this one. Looking to clutch a, such a crucial round of the game as well. And Alu spotted. This should be Masuta's couple of missed shots. So much time. He doesn't have to rush it. Neither does Alu, though. Bomb retrieved. There's no way Alu's ready for yeah. this. Pushing the gap is so smart, but he is. He's ready. And that's 13. The Finns find the pistol. My heart bleeds for Masuta there. He did such a great job. Yeah. Fantastic shots. Didn't panic at all. Played it perfectly. Yeah. Chad said it should have been his. I didn't see if Malo's POV, but it looked like he was looking at double doors. There should be no way he hits that shot, but he this, did. This, yeah. this second frag from Masuta, by the way, love that. More of that, please. Okay, so the only thing that really undoes Masuta in that situation is he's walking in with a left eye peek. Uh, but even still, it, it, well, I thought he did enough there. So the force by will come through. But this is a last-ditch attempt. If Vitality lose this one right here, pack it up, the game's over. And it's a great call as well. You know they haven't got the rifles at this point. You've done that in the vent, and you're normally getting wall bang for the corner of the vent. So Sergey using that information, the good spawn he's got. Oh, oh, oh no! Did they not call it for him? And apparently not. He was a knife owl jumping towards window. Shox is down there, but if they lose this round, just to reiterate, it's pretty much done. They'll be eco at 14-3 and uh, they'll have to force by. Wait, hold up. They might not clear Shox's position right now. They should be aware it's open. That should be a giveaway. Couple of messy frags. Yeah, this is not looking great. They're going towards upper, I would say, from the vents. And if they do that, call it done, but they're not going to watch their back, are they? Oh my god, they're I've got a double. I can back. definitely not. Now Zywe, he's turning all their attention and out from the vents. Pop Shoxy with a hold of his mouse one. He only gets one. Chaos. My goodness. This, I mean, we said we were having fun because it looks different. It certainly looks different. And Alu now with the AK-47, a very winnable clutch here.
Yeah, very good chance on this coming up ladder. They might not expect it so quickly. One is on isolated on the site, but he's at the Tetris position. Very hard to clear, and that's going to be it. Zaiwu takes him down, and Vitality still won back. So, Ents, it started well. They had Sergei down the vent. It felt like they had full control of the situation, but maybe he got a little bit ahead of himself there, pushing towards ramp. That opened the door for Shocks to rotate down the vent. Apex followed on through, and that's where things started to get a bit scrappy. So, yeah, a bit of a mess there. It was the perfect call, it seemed like, to go towards upper, but there's no one watching their back there. I, it's uh, a little bit frustrating that they've made such a brilliant call, this couldn't watch their back, and they're probably going to eco this one. I say that, PT50's coming out, Vitality right back in this game, and I dare say we're going the distance at this point. So Galil saved, and M4's purchased up. X7 went all in, Henry. Yeah, so I guess the rest of them are as well. They'll have to at this stage, Alu confirms it. And this is when you open the door wide open for Vitality. I guess the other end of this story is Ents steal this one back, and then that's even worse of a position for Team Vitality to find themselves in. Yeah, so but how do they, Chad? If you're... A hard top here could be the play, right? You just have some good flashes. We saw it on the pistol round. They lost the opening two kills to Shocks, but then they were still able to convert off the back of good utility. So there's a chance here. Ents aren't done with this one just yet. Early nades. The CTs here, they've dropped one lower very quickly. Masuta with the trigger discipline, not wanting to start spamming when he saw the tracers come on through. There's enough here for a set piece, Alex. There certainly is. They want to perhaps flash Ariel through ramp room. He is going to play lovely anti-flash, and he seems ready, but doesn't matter. He's been caught. And now Ariel lays down his life in order to flash his teammates into ramp room. Shox has rotated through lower as well to support them. There's a big gap right now. Yeah, Alo's done well to get in this position. He might be able to get the trade or the initial kill. Unfortunately, there is the trade. Oh. That's a great shot, though. He gets him back in this round, but Zywe is going to get that frag, no problem. Shoxi looking towards the lobby, gets the kill. That's the hype draining as well. Sergey. Oh, that's not exactly. Oh. Panicked a bit. Definitely panicked. That was the moment. And he's fluffed it. One bullet left. Down he goes. Strange, he decided to go into topside there, considering uh, he had the bomb, yeah. he had the armor. Yeah, just a poor. Decision, I suppose. Saiwu will have three kills. Vitality are now fully online. This is what they needed after losing the pistol. It's the second round. Force by the works out for them. Even these 1D Smallow wasn't enough to get them the round. Full eco now. Round 19. So they get 2,400 next round. There will be a buy coming out. But the reason this starts to get stressful is it is difficult on the T side of Nuke to be planning that bomb, to be stimulating the economy with the extra 800. Every opportunity you can, even if it's a one-on-three kind of scenario, you should be opting to get that bomb down. So they've got it down the vent. There is a chance right now. The rotation from ramp hasn't come through. Maybe they get that extra 800 I was just talking about. Oh, they should have oh. a player like Masuta coming down. He's actually done very it's well to reposition. You can see he's actually hidden himself from the ramp side. So that was all intentional from Sunny to get the bomb planted and there it might works. be another kill but yeah he actually does very well to reposition there knowing the tendencies of young masuta and gets the bomb down and that's actually really required considering they get 2400 dollars a chat stated into the next round that's an extra 800 now so uh they'll be cash rich going forward so will vitality though i, I feel like third card is very third, third map is very much on the cards is what i wanted to say <laughs> so uh I, I feel like they've done enough here now yeah that that, that was all it's, it took it's convinced me that they can at least take us to 13 13. we're gonna see double digits for vitality no AWP early from Ents either, opting to go with the five rifles. I'm curious to see if they think Masuta is a weakness at ramp and that's somebody they want to try and exploit. Or if they'll just go with their regular gameplay, if we'll just see more of, you know, the, the, the yard smokes forcing CT rotations and seeing if you can get away with it. Zywu does have the AWP, mind you, so let's see how this one goes. Okay, this time there's a fantastic incendiary to delay any sort of aggressive maneuver they were planning on going for that smoke from Masuta. There's a gap that... Ariel didn't quite get to exploit, but he's taken a lot of space away from them here. You can see how frustrating that is. You're going to have to expend utility now to even get ramp control at the trophy room. Because even if Mystery is not there, you have no information. But it is he's an all-in position. And he has overstayed. You're absolutely dead on there, Chad. I don't know why he would. Like, yeah. for me, it's all about suggesting oh. someone could be there. And the incendiary and Zywo, he misses the shot. Is that going to be enough, though? The follow-up wall bang doesn't connect either. So there's a window opportunity for NC to get down towards lower, but they don't have to. They have left lobby open, sort of. Alu's towards squeaky door. RPK doesn't check it right now. They're suggesting they're going down towards lower. They still have two smokes available. Apex gets towards the window. He will be... 
taken down at momentarily. I would say it's going to be Sergei to pick up the kill. It's looking very good. Shox is the last one oh! of the fence, and he only gets the one. <laughs> I thought he was trying to close the door initially, and then Shox was just waiting on the other side. It could have been so much messier. It still could be. RPK still alive, and he's going to send them and channel them towards the top site. He's aware of that, and so already rotating towards the heaven position. Oh, Danu has his number. He's going to have to opt for lobby. Heard Ooh, all this as well. He has. There's nothing he can do right now, RPK, even if he wanted to save. It's not efficient. He can even pre fire, really. No one will be there on the T side. Usually, it's a great spot from Alu. A very nice round from Ents. Three players survive. Money's still okay for Vitality. I said our baited breath. Shock starting when beginning his double AWP out. Oh, Auto shotgun for Apex. Oh, Masuda bought it for Zaiwu. He dropped in the AWP. It could be enough, I suppose. So when you say he overstayed, you, you have no problem with Masuta deep it's smoking and pushing. He can that, stay in trophy behind the smoke. That idea is anyone does push through, you have the advantage. Yeah. The moment that smoke dissipates and you're stuck in that corner, you can't fall it's back. It's a one quietly. and done. Anyone's waiting in towards the radio room, they'll just take you out. And it's at most a one and done, if he even gets out. I would say uh, uh, a kind of guaranteed kill for yeah. the T side. If the smoke's out, I'm checking that spot, right? With a flashbang or waiting for the smoke to dissipate with multiple numbers, as they did. So if they were just trying to force the issue, that's when you can exploit that position. Sure. 15 second window, it's it's a small one. So outside smokes and does look like they'll be walking into Shox's domain. I will remind you of how little utility they have. Typically, Shox could jiggle oh, the corner, throw a, a molly, point. smoke yeah, it. Exactly that, and he's got nothing. So he has to call for backup here in the form of the auto shotgun. Apex will be setting up the crossfire here. Not quite the same potency as two M4s at the steps. Shox actually falling back towards oh. ramp. Okay, this is a real problem right now if you're Vitality. They won't actually have the early warning system. They know RPK's cleared. Okay, where did that happen? Outside, I think. Now we have some real problems because the rotation can go all to the lower bomb site. Oh, that was a big chance for Apex to take a huge rifle upgrade as well as a kill. Instead, it's a 4v4, and that's a huge shot. Ariel was fluffing around with his nades. Yeah, they both were. Sergey was watching that spot as well. They seemed like they were daydreaming, but they didn't lose a player. And uh, I don't know, Vitality, they're looking dangerous here. They're ready to pounce as soon as this bomb goes down. Aerial, low HP as well. Here comes the swing, and they're looking for instant kills if possible. They're going to find the first. Yeah, there's so many more chances, and x 7 fluffed his lines. It looked good for Enz for a moment. Sergey to save them. Sunny too. Good spray into the first, and Sunny's caught another. Zaiwu can clutch this, though. And okay. with an AK, it's looking very positive. Where is that bomb planted? Wide, and the door flings open. Sergey throws bullets down range. His third kill coming alive oh. when it matters, and just the last round heading into the corpse of the star player. Ridiculous scenes here. The rounds are so scrappy yeah, at this threatening. point. It's threatening it's, constantly. It's giving me butterflies when I'm watching them. This must be a, a difficult environment to play in, but if ever you're going to close out a series, this would be the moment. You're 15-6 up, a map under your belt already. The money is broken for Vitality. You know they're going to be aggressive. They're going to be tucked in with the Eagles, c -10s can slow this one down. It doesn't have to be the rush, and we'll see what they've got in mind here. Leading off towards the door. They have been getting down that vent successfully. They've got the MAC-10 to do so, but don't fully commit. X7 just exploring his options here as Alu gets towards the main roof. The, the calls have been really good so far from Ants over both maps. Their T-sides, their strats, they've looked well-defined. It's just some of these awkward mid-round decisions where Vitality are forcing the issue that is catching their players off guard. The scoreline, 15-6. to six. I don't think it shows how close some of these rounds truly have been. So here it's just going to be a slow crawl towards Yard. You love this type of a call. They know they're just up against the pistols. If they can avoid the Deagle headshots, Ensa on for round number 16. Shox is trying to find a fight. He does fire off a bullet. Ariel's hunting him down, though, and Deagle bullets, or at least Deagle headshots, are avoided. Sergei and Ariel, though, definitely wounded from Shox's impact. Seven, oh. handling the lobby push. He's under a lot of scrutiny. He actually decides to get the hell out of dodge. Chugging away with the MAC-10. It does lead them to a five versus three. 15 to six, UMPs, P250, CZs, up against a fully equipped ENTS here. There are a few low HP players, and RPK is trying to sniff them out. He always looks dangerous. And will he commit towards T-Sport? X7 puts himself right in the corner, but of course, RPK one step ahead of him. They go lower, though. And that's not going to be uh, too easy for RPK to get down those vents. He's considering it. Oh. Okay, that's so they're the going to play the after plan entirely from ramp. This is funky. Yeah, they don't want to play close to the pistols. They know it's the low buy that they're up against here. So they're taking some room. And that room is working out. It can end right here. From room to Masuta's doom. Sunny spraying through. Masuta's got no HP. And the...